Okay, uh, this is the first op of this job. Um, this is the first day we've had the CNC up and running in any usable fashion. Uh, the first op is just to square the end of this part. Next op will be to come back and square and cut it to length the other end of the part. As you can see, we don't have spindle control set up yet, but uh, we got jobs to do. They have to be done. I don't have time to do the upgrade yet. All right, so that's this op. I'll show you uh, the next op when we're done. Okay, we flipped the part over and we are facing it to length. back when it's uh, time for the next op. Okay, so um, this part has a weird bevel on both sides. Looks something like this. So we've got it set up to cut one, then we flip it over and cut the other using a stop. So then all we have to do is flip it over, reference it against the stop there, let it cut the other side, and uh, I believe the last op is uh, drilling a couple holes. Oh yeah, and then there's a couple, uh, there's a couple of profile chamfers we have to cut. So this has a weird little 45 degree two angle side here. We're gonna cut this in one pass here. One out on there, two passes. Okay, it's just got little 45s on either side of that.
about it. Hello? Let's see, something like that. Okay, this is the last stop on the mill. Just drill a couple of holes. We'll take it to the drill press afterwards and uh, run a little countersink just to break the, uh, break the edge. Okay, I've got my uh, my depth stop set, so I can just come in and uh, countersink all these holes. Really, just to break the edges. Okay. 